Guys, this is an in-depth tour of the all-new 2021 Toyota Yaris Cross Hybrid. I'll be giving you a full walk around the car, show you the exterior, the interior, give you a sound system test, also show you the storage inside the car, and how the seats fold down, and and so on. Let's get straight into it. Towards the front, you got full LED headlights, as you can see. Also, you can see you got this really nice blacked-out finish inside the headlight there. A little nice little detail. Also, you can see this little nice pan on towards the top as well. Headlight. You can see with the blue badge it indicates it's a hybrid model. You can see you got your you got a front camera, you got your adaptive cruise control sensor as well, and you got four parking sensors integrated into the front bumper there. Fuel consumption of this car is 3.8 litres per 100 kilometres. Urban 3.3, sorry, combined test 3.8, urban 3.3, extra urban 4.2. As you know, it's a 1.5 litre CVT transmission, hatchback 5 door, and petrol and electric, so it's a hybrid, in case you're wondering. Show your wheels. So in terms of the tyres, you can see these are Bridgestone Taranta tyres. In terms of the type of tyre, they are T005A tyre and they are a 16 inch wheel. And these are also made in Japan. You can see the alloy here. Being a hybrid, you got regenerated brakes. What that means is, as the brake car slows down, it sends power to charge the battery, which is actually quite cool. you got in LED indicators on this in the side of your mirrors which helps improve your visibility especially when changing lanes makes people more alert of which direction you're going which is a nice safety feature it's got surround view cameras which is very useful when you're parking so you can get 360 view of the car and when you're parking you can see it also helps you ease when you're parking to slots or let's say in this sort of situation here where you're next to two cars and avoiding you scraping your wheels and just makes it that much easier so pretty cool stuff clean entry Pretty cool. Do have the key fob with me, so being keyless, you can when you want to lock the car, you can just touch like that. And when you unlock, you can put your hands there, and it'll unlock as well, which is actually pretty cool. Also, like the rear as well, you can see. Actually, before I go there, you can also see that you've got the Yaris cross sort of embossed on the side there. You've got some plastic cab cladding there, as you can see. I'll step towards the rear good look and what's cool also I got you can also now switch the lenses on this camera so you can get a nice wide angle view of the rear see you got your tail light there you can see it's all blacked out switch to the lens again so it's actually nice and black over here which is pretty cool got a reversing camera you can see here, it says Yaris Cross, and you know it's a hybrid. Four parking sensors integrated in the rear bumper. Let's have a look at the, looks like you got a solid beam axle up here, so no independent rear suspension. Single exhaust. The braking lights. Manual tailgates. So you've got some storage here, yeah, which is adjustable. Seats do fold down as well. So, let's show you there. So let me just remove this out of the way. So you've got a little so toggle here. Press this, comes down. Now because the seat is quite far, far back, I might have to adjust the seat to be a little bit more forward. Look, just one moment please. So this looks like the passenger side and the driver side is manual. So, not electric seats. Probably just move this one a bit forward, might as well. Let's 
adjust this lens again, same toggle over here if I press this one here, comes down and you can see that even though the battery is underneath the rear seat, you can see it's actually flat which is actually a nice change because sometimes they don't think that way. And because this is a separate piece you can actually put this one down and have these two seats up and you can slide, slide large, large items across. Switch to the other camera, get a better look as you can see. There's some illumination. Cool. Now, if I lift this one up, I don't think I have anything else. You just got your toolkit and a space saver spare tire. Real, like I said, interior. the interior and the yours. See the interior. Switch to the other lens. You can see. So now you can actually get a proper nice view unlike last time in the older videos if you recall. See the string wheel, you can see. So you can see your switches here, you've got your standard switches you can see also feels very nice to build quality on these ones. A little short travel. Onto hands free, volume controls all here. Got your adaptive cruise control over here as well. Lane departure warning, seek three stations. Also quite nice. You can see it's leather wrapped as well. Also a nice detail, and you can see it's got this nice black stitching all the way around. You can see that you got wiper controls to the left, and you got your headlight indicators to the right. So pretty much the same interior on the standard Yaris. In case you're wondering. Now, because I do have the key, I'll just show you the accessories. So if I just press this, it'll, it'll light up fully digital. Well, let me just turn the volume down. I'll just put my hand here, might because the colors always go be funny. Let's press this again. And it's off this AC. So digital display. Let me just put the hand there. So you can see you got your different um what gear you're in on the left. On the right you got your speedometer, temperature gauge for engine, and a um fuel gauge. And then in the center you got a you got a digital digital display which you can see through all your information. So I think if I just press mode you can scroll through. I don't know how I did this last time. But yeah, you can um you can actually go and see change the source settings or what's on there, which is pretty cool. Over here we'll just show you the head units. So if I just go to home, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, show you the head unit, so press this on here. Quite responsive, which is good. Ugh. Can't even type. I'm just, just testing out stuff. So you can see the map as I go here. Yeah, so it's actually not laggy, which is good. That's a wire. Let me go home. See what other stuff you've got. Test it up. Test out the radio. See how good the audio quality is. Switch the presets to source. Oh. So you've got AM, FM, DAB digital radio, HD radio, FM. Let's have a listen. So I'm going to keep raising and lowering the volume just to avoid copyright. If there's any, hopefully there's some music. It looks like there's no music at the moment. It's on North Witch now. Oh, that's a shame. So I don't have any real music at the moment. It's quite clear, which is cool, but um. I think Triple Triple Day had some songs. Different sources and all that. Um, obviously you've got air climb control. Let's get rid of the... Let's turn it on. Lowest temperature is 18. Highest temperature appears to be... 32. So yeah, it's really hot in here. And you got your vents all buried over there. Front 
rid the mister. You can see where your buns actually feel all really well made. Have some nice feedback too. You've got some blank buns which are, I believe, extra extra features. A USB port here. You've got a power outlet, 12 volt search, 120 watt power outlet. CVT transmission. You also have some storage here. So you can see your drinks actually fit here quite nicely, which is actually quite good. You can see it fits. Pretty much in here as well, just fits 750mm, a little bit of a struggle, but that's because the actual shape of the bottle makes it seem that way. Let's see if we can switch the color lens, might make it a bit more easier for you to see. So yep, you can see, it's over here, you see your seats here. Could use a little bit more lumber support if I was honest. Texture the finish of the material. And you got these sort of, it looks like the two separate colours, or is it just maybe the lighting? Could be, but you can see you got this interesting pen here. And again, it's very faint, but you can see again, that pen again here. And also you got a really weird cup holder here, which can fit this large 700ml bottle. Um, so you can see, hard plastics here, soft touch here. So very nice, this sort of plastic trim here. Got a box. And you got the sort of urban sort of style trim here, or hard plastics here as well. Jump out, sorry it's really warm in here. You can see all the controls feel very nice. And yeah, you got this sort of handle here and some little weird storage there too. Um, which is also pretty neat. While I'm here, I might just show you, you've got, you can change your camera views, you press that and you can actually cycle through all the different cameras so you can actually see different views, which is actually pretty cool. I might just turn that one back on, I forgot about that. While that's doing that, I'll show you the other buttons. EV mode, so if you want to just run on just the battery by itself, which you control. Auto hold, if you want to incline, you can hold the actual car without actually you applying the brake. Electronic parking brake. So you can actually do that right now. Press this one. So yep, so here we go. So this is all what you can see. If I, as I press the button, you can get different views. So you can see the different angles. You can see, press it again. What else you got? Rear top view 360. So really good. So for sure you won't scrape your wheels. Now I'm just pressing the button right there in order to do that. So pretty cool. That's leaving up the console. on. Got a card holder there. Oh, got a card holder right there. Real. Oh, open the door. So, as I mentioned, the seats do fold flat, which is cool. And if you just want to put the seat down by itself, press this one, that seat comes down there and then you can put just a ski rack there. And again, you've got some storage here so you can fit two bottles there nicely. You can also do that here too, fit some bottles there as well. Let's jump in. Might just leave it on this setting because it's easier to get a good look. So you can see your seats here. See the seat again, same sort of pattern as well. Hard plastics here. And you can see you got some storage here. Put the bottle there nicely. You've got a very small transmission tunnel, but you can got room to keep your feet, and I'll just show you the dashboard from the rear seat. So pretty much the same as the standard Yaris, just more high up the ground. Just makes it a bit easier. I did forget, you do have illumination as well. 
and standard slide bending mirror. I did forget about that. Ice fix points here and here. Same pen as the front seats. Um, visibility is actually pretty good there, which is actually good. And you do have a bit of a blind spot, but again, the blind spot monitoring system. <sighs> um, just one pocket here, but yeah. Now I'll just show you the engine. <clears throat> now because it's a hybrid, one thing that did surprise me is normally when they have hybrids, they don't. The battery is underneath here. That's why it's all plastic here, right? And normally there's no support, but and it's, it feels like a park bench, but you don't really have that sort of case in this, which is actually pretty cool. Much flex, yeah, no, pretty good. That's a solid. Choose the engine. So 1.5 litre engine. What have I done here? It's embarrassing. Where did it go? Sorry, just give me one second. Sorry, I just had the, I kind of dropped the stalk, so here's the engine. So these are made in Japan, in case you're wondering. There you go, wide view. Can get a better look at the engine. Pretty main Japan, see? Got your coolant, brake fluid reservoir, which is actually quite a large brake fluid reservoir. Um, I believe that's for the battery, you know, like so the battery got the um, motors and stuff like that, fuses. Well, that's my little walk around of the all new Toyota Yaris Cross Hybrid. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, this car is for sale at um, Furniture Guy Toyota. There's a link in the description below if you want to go and check out the dealership. Um, hope you enjoyed this video and feel free to like and subscribe to support me and stuff like that. Um, again, hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Take care, guys.